Hi friends, my name is Ankur Jain and welcome back to Tax Upper channel. Today in this video, I am going to give an overview of Oracle Process Cloud Service. What Oracle PCS is, what it offers, what are the key, key benefits, what are the key components of PCS, what are the navigations available in Oracle Process Cloud Service. So let's get started and see what are the things. So Oracle Process Cloud Service is a cloud-based software which allows us to develop business processes or workflows as per the business requirement. It is a PaaS service offered by Oracle. Allows us to develop workflows in a minute. It's very simple. The drag and drop features is a web-based which we can use to develop our processes which can be very simple, which can be very complex. It provides lots of uh, template which allows us to develop workflows very quickly. Lots of templates are available, ready-made templates are there, which can be used in order to develop our processes. So what are the key features of PCS? Accelerate, business-led, rapid process automation. It allows us to create workflows very quickly. Responsive multi-channel forms, we can create a user interface, uh, which can be a responsive, we can open the user interface on multiple devices we can create a single user interface and can be open and can be seen on different different devices like desktop uh, tab mobile etc it allows us to integrate with oracle and non oracle application which means we can have rest or soap apis of oracle or non oracle application which can be integrated very easily play test and validate once our process is completed we can play with it we can test and we can validate to ensure that there is no issues with the with the business process which we developed engage productive and intuitive task management work on the go across devices task collaboration right work to right person so basically what product and intuitive task management means we can view complete and reassign the task we can delegate the task if let's suppose if we have we have one task and we want to delegate this task to anyone we can do that we can yeah uh, we can we do have lots of filters which can be used to filter the task work on the go across devices access and complete task using a simple mobile app work in connected or disconnected mode task collaboration which means we can share our task with the team we can comment share photos or documents and collaborate with others for increased productivity right work to right person simplify read real-time insights and actionable dashboard operational intelligence and to end visibility and self-service which means if we talk about the real-time actionable dashboard it allows us to monitor and manage work streams in real time with rich visualization and there are lots of analytics available which can be used to monitor and manage our tasks operational intelligence subscribes to alerts break through bottlenecks detect trends and take action if we talk about end-to-end -end visibility and self-service it is very easy to track workflows we can see the detailed audit trails, we can troubleshoot and optimize key process. It's complete, full blown security. Mm. If we talk about the security, it provides a high level, level and scalable process automation, application deployment environment, and it is very secured and it is totally managed by Oracle. It's a full site likely management, exercise complete control of your process application lifecycle with automation rule-based control for moving from DAV test to production environment. Portability, flexibility to move process application metadata and content from cloud to on-premise for release controls. So what are the components involved into the PCS? So when we create a process, it gives lots of uh, components which can be used in order to create our process very interactive like processes uh, the processes processes is nothing it is a it is a, a sequence of tasks which can be which can be executed in sequence or parallel so we can have different different tasks available like we can have a, one user interface we can have a approval we can have uh, we can have a decision things and all 
and then forms the forms is nothing it is a user interface which can be created in the pcs the business type business type is nothing it is an object or entity and it can be anything like an employee like a table like a chair like a desktop or like a mobile the decision the decision component is a very powerful component provided by pcs which can help us to design which, which it is nothing it is just like a if and else tool which can be created it is a business rules which can be created machine learning if you wanted to create the smart process you can use machine learning integration as i mentioned earlier that we can integrate oracle and non oracle application we can use we can integrate our uh, we can integrate our apis which we have created in the ics itself indicators and localization part So basically, uh, in this video, we are we I am going to uh, showcase. I am going to cover the navigations of PCS. How we can how we can open PCS and what are the navigations available. So let's jump to the Oracle Integration Cloud and log in there. So once you log in into the Oracle Integration, you will be landed onto the home page from where you can go into the PCS application. So go click on the process and once you click on the process, you will see the high level navigation like process application, decision models, spaces and the administration. The process application, once you click on this process application, it will take you to the uh, process application which you have created so far. From there, you can manage all the processes which you have created you can activate your process you can create new process you can delete you can import whatever access you want so let it be loaded so here you see we have two processes which you can see over here you can manage both the processes now just go to the decision models uh, in the decision model tab you can create your decisions decisions uh, it allows us to uh manage your decision models which you have created earlier and you you also can create models using this create button spaces spaces is nothing it is just a, a bunch of you can create a single space and in a single space you can have a bunch of processes uh in a single space or we can create multiple spaces as well so here you see i have created one space my space so basically i have not created is a default space which comes in automatically and if you wanted to create another space you can use this create button so if you go to the administration uh, using this using this administration you can do lots of stuff like uh, administration tasks you can manage the spaces you can manage application gallery player and the import now just move to the process applications again just open any one of the application and see what are the components as i described we do have lots of components which can be used to build our process so here you see i have created a single process loan application processes and here you will see you have lots of components like forms business types decision machine learning integration indicators localization so these components will help you to build a uh, complex workflows so this is these are the navigation which can be used while creating these process so in the next video i am going to showcase to how to build a simple process and in the further videos we will go ahead and we'll create complex to complex integration i hope you like the video if you like the video please share like comment and please subscribe my youtube channel so you can find me over linkedin twitter facebook and pinterest you can see my blogs https colon slash www.taxsupper.com thank you for watching the video